Hello and welcome back to Human Resource Machine. With is that Simon Lane hanging out the window? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna have a quick rant about some people that were doing dodgy behaviour. It's like an individual that joined my group and started doing illegal, unauthorised giveaways, and then crying when I banned them the instant I found out they were doing that. So, you know, I don't support that. I don't endorse that. And if you get caught doing that, you will be banned. So, you know. You don't join it doing illegal giveaways after you've been bragging that you kind of get keys from developers and that they're supposedly okay for you to sell on for your own profits because you're scumming the customers and money off the developers really and I can't see that they'd ever authorise you to do that. And then you've tried to run these illegal giveaways when you've been in the kites in Dudley giveaways before Bratty Snacks, that was the user, and I just won't stand for it. You know, that's why they were instantly banned, because clearly they're going to use the fact that they were running these unauthorised and illegal giveaways that within two hours of them joining the Steam group, I banned them because it took that long to find out that they were doing this dodgy shit. And, you know, they were clearly going to do that to try and go, hey, well, you know, developers, I'm running giveaways on this, give me some more stinkies. And it's like, no. I know that you sell these things for your own profit and you've been implicated in rigged giveaways and, you know, scumming keys from developers under the threats of negative reviews, so no, you can fuck right off. And I will name and shame you for being such a scumbag and trying to think you can do that in my group. Anyone that thinks they can join my stuff and do that and try and do that, no, fuck off. Only ever listen to things from my registered email address which is listed on my website. Any other email addresses and any requests for giveaways are scummy doggy shit so tell them to fuck right off and tell me when you catch them doing it so I can name and shame them too. Right anyway back to this Fibonacci sequence right I realise maybe that I should have the Jump paths, right, so let's just go step by step. Right, I'll play. Just play until we go at high speeds. Right, so, yeah, it will do a two rather than a three. Right, so, right, so we get one, we add to that. We take it to the out box. And I guess I've jumped too early, so that might be the problem. Maybe. No. So let's try. I can't be right. Subtract eight. Right, we'll leave Fibonacci sequence for a bit. Oh, how do I return to the elevator? Let me go back to the elevator. Or how do I get back to the elevator? There it is. Thank you. Right, so zero terminated slump. It's getting quite hard now. Right, so I need the zero string yet. How do I do that? Oh god, right, zero strings. Add together all the numbers in a string. When you reach the end of a string, it's marked by a zero. Put the sum in your out box, repeat. So, box jump of zero. I guess jump of zero should be before the copy two, maybe. Alright, so we go to the inbox. If it's zero, we put in the out box. Yeah. I guess. Do we need to put the zeros in the eight box? I don't know. So if not, we go to that and then add that. And then copy to zero. And then jump to the inbox. Ah. Hmm, this could be an issue. Right, so... 
I don't know. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Right, so. The inbox took that, so we need to restrict and take it to the zero mark it to the outbox, right? So. We take it from the inbox. Because if it's zero, we jump. Oh, we. We don't want the zero in the outbox, do we? No, we copy from zero and take it to the outbox. Okay. So then I guess we can go back to that stage and go to the inbox, copy to one, add it to zero, and copy to. We probably don't even need the copy to one stage, to be honest. Pardon me. And then we go back to the thing and check if it's zero. Right, so then I guess I don't need that bit there because obviously if we're going to jump there, it's already got that stage, hasn't it? And then a jump loop at the end after the outbox, surely? Nope, he's Mr. Zero, he's Mr. Zero, he's Mr. Zero. Mr. Zero, he's Mr. Zero, it's Mr. Zero. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're missing the jump of zero should be there, I guess, because we're never going to go back to that. I will hope that this works. Ah, you've missed a zero again! How? Right, so inbox. Jump of zero. <laughs> to there. If you have, why do you ignore? You take it from the inbox and you've got a zero in your hand, surely. Right. Copy to that. Correct. Go back to the inbox. Jump if it. Oh, dumb. I'm so dumb. <laughs> it's because I put the jump after the jump the entire bloody time. Um, management expected a zero. Uh, that could be an issue. How do we deal with that? How do we deal with that? Double zero loop. Oh. How on earth do you deal with a double zero loop? No. Oh my gosh. I really don't know how we deal with a double zero stream. How do we fucking deal with that? <laughs> oh. Oh no. I think I may have reached my... Uh, uh, I, I don't know how to do it for today. I'll come back and have another think about it another time. And hopefully it'll hit me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Sorry for the short one and sorry for the rants. We'll go to the beach <laughs> as a holiday and a relaxing holiday and enjoy the beach and a cup of tea. They've got cocktails. So she doesn't look they're very happy with the umbrella at the end, does she? <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Sorry about this. Goodbye. Get some tea. Why not? I'll have a cup of tea too. Thanks. Earl Grey with milk. Goodbye.